So if you've ever been to a, an air show and you've had a look at some of the uh, machines there, like uh, have a look at some uh, military machines like uh, fighter jets and and such and, uh, and and study the attention to detail and uh, I think you, you you don't even have to go and you already know okay well the attention to detail is going to be outstanding so anyways kind of with all that in mind uh, I want to do a bit of a review on this Apollo 11 moon lander I've got I think of some uh, some other Apollo missions mixed in here yet too I'll kind of let you know when that happens but uh, all the uh, pictures that I'm going to show you are from NASA.gov or when uh, I was on NASA.gov, NASA.gov also provided a link to a uh, Apollo image archive. So that's where also I got uh, a number of these pictures. So let's uh, dig into this a bit. So keep in mind that I'm going to be more critical of this thing because of who built it. Like for example, if my kids had built something like this in the backyard and it was uh, supposed to be used as a, a play fort or something like that, I mean, I would look at it completely different than uh, you know if NASA builds it. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, I just want to show you a couple of things here. And uh, I got myself kind of going on this ladder thing and that's one of the things we're gonna look at. I'm gonna start with that and I want you to see Okay, so this picture, it's called Aldrin backing out of the LM hatch. And uh, let's go to another picture here. So you can see as he's, uh, he, he kind of backs out onto this platform. And so he's, he's kind of blind as he, he's going to have to kind of reach down with his legs somehow and find this ladder. So it's kind of like an odd thing. Like imagine if you are getting off the roof of your house and your ladder is kind of tucked up under the eave of the roof just a little bit and you have to kind of reach down and I don't know it's kind of like a, an oddball way of, uh, of uh, doing this. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. So look, so he's just come off that platform and this is what I want to show you guys. Look at this ladder. Look at right here where his feet are going to go. There's, they've got like, a, like half of a pipe or a tube or something. It's taped onto the ladder. I mean, the guy has just come off what I would imagine like uh, blind to where he's going to be stepping because he's got this suit and stuff and he's kind of laying on a platform. So now he's coming over the edge and he's got to make sure he doesn't step on this, this thing that they've taped on here. And uh, so you think, well, maybe that's the only spot, but then a little ways down, they've got another one. Like what is, here's another spot where it's kind of like a trip and fall hazard, you know, in this situation, if these guys poke a hole in their suit, uh, you're, they, they, they will, you know, they, how much chance do they have of, sur of surviving? Because I think to get pressure back, they would have to crawl back in and uh, get everything closed up and repressurize the, uh, the cabin. And uh, how, how, how long would that all take? You know what I mean? So you kind of want to keep your guys safe. I mean, somehow slip and hook on something here. So the description on this picture is LM forward slash Aldrin and the ID number on it is AS11-40-5928 and that is in the uh, Apollo archives. So up on top you can see kind of like this round uh, disc up on top there and it kind of hangs over. It sort of looks like maybe they were thinking that they could pull the paneling out to kind of match the shape of that, that disc. I'm not sure. And the, um, the paneling is, is, see how it's kind of pushed in here? And the waving and the buckling right here is a pretty good gap right here. And uh, they use quite, they use an assortment of uh, colors. So they've got the dark ones here. And uh, here they've got a combination of the light, dark, light. And uh, you see the paneling here. This is what I want to get into later in the next picture. Uh, it was a pretty good shot coming up of the, the, this paneling and, and particularly I think it's this corner here that we're going to look at. So you can see the buckling, you know, the, the bowing here. And uh, so here's the interesting thing also. Look at this area. So uh, back in the day we had uh, crossbar pads on our dirt bikes and uh, I've still got one on my old CR. And uh, so it looks like a covering on some foam maybe underneath right along here and uh, look in the back here 
So you can see, they got one, I guess maybe they, they didn't have, the covering wasn't long enough or something, and so, but uh, evidently they had uh, an abundance of uh, foil tape, so they kind of got some tape going on there to get that thing on there. And over here, this looks like the uh, foam that you might have, like if you want to insulate the pipes in your basement or something like that. So here's, here's some more what looks like foam without the covering. You can see the, the little uh, slot right in there and a little piece of tape over this what looks like foam. Okay so this is the corner now that I think I was looking at in the previous picture right here and uh, I'm going to zoom in on that. So this is a high-res picture on the uh, on the Apollo archives and it's titled close-up of close-up of LM and the ID number on that picture is AS11-40-5922. So if you have a look at that, like when I was looking at this for a while, I, I actually called the wife over and to get her to have a look at this because it was rather amazing. And I don't mean it was amazing in a good way. So let's back up a bit here. So this darker colored paneling, I'm assuming that they used that to make a patch here because it kind of looks like they came up a little short on the floor and so they uh, wanted to finish this off so they got that other piece of paneling there and they looks like they bent it into this shape and uh, I mentioned maybe before that uh, it seems they have an abundance of this uh, gold foil tape so they got that in there and look at the uh, look at the fit over here also like you got a big big buckle right here you could probably almost get your hand in there and you can see on the paneling like the fit the way it's it's bowing and buckling there and uh, so we'll go a little bit on the bottom here so down here this looks to me like what maybe some construction paper like what you'd have like in a school project so obviously I don't know exactly what it is and uh, it's kind of wrinkled and possibly damaged in some areas. It seems like they put tape on uh, some damaged spots. I'm not sure what's all happened here, the little spots of tape. But you know the interesting thing about this tape is it, it would have had to have been put on in the fabrication shop because uh, it would seem to me that when the astronauts are out and about and uh, doing their work they would uh, likely care less whether or not there's a little tear or something in the material and uh, and even if they did want to put tape on uh, how would they possibly do that with gloves on so so that means this looked like this with the tape and uh, and likely all most of this wrinkling in the fabrication shop and they sent it out of the door that way I don't know something about it but this corner here, that really got me. When I was looking at that, I tell you what, guys, look at that. The buckling and the bowing and the patching and the tape. Here's another shot of uh, panels. Have a look at the uh, overhang here. There's probably maybe uh, one, two inches of panel that just kind of hangs there like that here in this corner. You can see again that something's been going on here with a kind of an odd fitting system there. And over here, I noticed. So this is that that uh, rocket little rocket uh, direction blaster, one of them here. And uh, looks like they've got kind of like a curved support for this little guide for the blast. So they, they, they could have, I guess, cut that off a little shorter. There's probably an inch that they could have cut off and it's extra weight. This piece, it kind of reminds me of that molding that maybe you might find on some cars where you open the door and where the door jam transitions to the panels on the interior. Like there's kind of like a C-shaped molding that kind of goes around there. That's kind of what it reminds me of. And uh, remember this uh, odd shaped box and I think we're on the other side now. Uh, I'll just go up here a bit. Uh, remember that dish that was on the top and then it looked like they kind of maybe pulled that panel out. So I think we're on the back side now. So you remember that gap here under this panel and uh, that odd shaped box with the different colored panels on the 
sides and stuff. Okay, so on the back side, that's I think where we are now. Have a look at this and uh, check that out. So to me, it looks like they're, they're, they've got uh, some kind of tubing or something going through this panel and uh, right in this area, it looks like they have something fastened to that tubing so that maybe the panel could attach to this assembly, right? So, but look at the gap here. I mean, you could probably reach right inside there, almost. Big gap. Uh, I'm assuming that this is aluminum now. So, uh, like, look at the fit and finish of this machine, like right here. Check that out. So, probably an uh, inch and a half too big, maybe two inches too much room there. And uh, something happened here. And uh, look at the... <laughs> And it just keeps going, guys. It just seems to keep going. So, more stuff going on here with the the way they fabricated this and fit it together. You can see up here, and and like wow, like wow. Oh yeah, there's a thing I found here too. So look at the panel right here. So they got the rivets going on here, rivets, rivets, and then here they cut the panel. You see how they cut a corner out of it? It kind of looks like that panel should be fitting in here nice, but they cut a they cut a corner out of it when they like what what why would they have to cut that corner out of there? Why wouldn't you make it fit the machine nice, you know? If you look right here, there's a little fastener. See? And another one here. And I think it's the same kind of fasteners that they were using along the top here. And uh, there's a pair here and a pair here. And you can see it kind of pulls in that material as it's inserted. So this looks like the same kind of a fastener. And it's obviously quite a bit different than what I think here is a rivet. Okay, a couple of rivets here. And a very small little fastener here and here. And you can see it pulls that panel in a little bit right there where it pushes in. So you guys think a little bit, what kind of a fastener would be really small like that? and fasten into a, a light brown colored material on the back side. What do you think about that a little bit? So this shot is from Apollo 17 and the ID number on this one in the Apollo archives is AS17-149-22859 and uh, interesting. So you ha have a look at the, uh, the gaps on the paneling here and then the huge buckle going on right here, something going on here, and uh, so, and I'm not sure if this is a window or a light or something like that, but you can see how it fits. It fits uh, here. It seems to fit nice, and then uh, it seems to lift off of the uh, panel here. There's a shadow. See that? What I really want to show you in this picture, what uh, kind of got me curious. Have a look at uh, the foil that's underneath the machine here, okay? So, Apollo 17, they've got, the, and so, so here is the rocket, uh, the exhaust uh, thruster bell, whatever we would call that, and uh, right beside it, you've got this foil. See, uh, all this foil here. Now, check this out as it takes off to mount up with the other machine that's still in orbit uh, allegedly uh, as if you guys can probably tell already by now that uh, I th and I'll tell you guys right out this this whole thing is in my opinion one giant hoax it's probably one of the greatest hoaxes ever pulled on mankind 99 proceeded 3 Two, one, ignition. Right away, Houston. And do you notice the, the the extreme blast that 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 rocket makes as it takes off? So we'll play it again. One, ignition. Right away, Houston. So I, I have a question for you guys. The question is, how is this foil still attached to the bottom of the machine? when you get such an extreme blast right 
next to this foil. How's how's that even possible? Possible. 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 possible.